Hey everybody, I'm 8 Hero, and welcome to the 8-Bit Indie Show, where I scour the interwebs for independent games that garner my interest that you may not have heard about, so you can research and support the developers behind them. Let's get started! First up is Crawl by Powerhoof. Crawl is the arcade machine you wish existed today, provided there's still an arcade in your area. Sad face. One player is the hero exploring a randomly generated dungeon full of monsters, traps, and treasure, all controlled by your friends. If you successfully are able to slay the hero, you get to take over that adventurer and take your stab at the dungeon crawl. Upon reaching the final battle, it becomes a 1v3 all-out battle royale, as your three friends control an epic boss in the final showdown. That said, if you don't have three friends to play with locally, there is a single-player option with the ability to set various difficulties for the AI. Each game will take roughly about 30 minutes to complete, but it is randomly generated dungeons, so there should be enough replayability, especially with some friends nearby, to make that several hours or several hundred hours, especially as the game exits early access. To find out more, check out the game on Steam, as it is an early access game coming out on August 6th, 2014. In the caverns beneath the earth, all turn mad. For time untold, I had drifted, dead and alone. But now I watched as a mortal man once again trod the forgotten halls, living flesh that must be broken. I took possession of black mechanisms and cruel traps sprung at my command, and where the floor was etched with arcane symbols, I could rise for a time as the creatures of the old gods. I summoned beasts of the earth and long dead things with tentacles and blades. I wore them for skin and possessed their minds and flung them at this man. Again and again he cut me down, and I was tickled to see a trace of hope in his eyes. Did he think it was just me down here? The others flanked with hooked teeth and claws and bled him of his faith. He was soon to die, this puppet of flesh. But who would deliver the killing blow? If I slay him, I will take his place and be reborn, human again. And by my hand he fell. Humanity poured from his corpse and filled me to the brim. It flashed arcs and beams of power and flared my flesh reborn. The dark gods were pleased with the living blood I had spilt and rewarded me with riches. Taking these, I traded with the stranger for weapons, tinctures, and powerful magics. With new vicious tools, I butchered beast after beast, growing ever stronger. But the monsters grew also, and I could seldom hold mortal life for long. Be beasts were shredded underfoot as we fought for our prize. That one fading spark of humanity, we seized it, we lost it, or we took it and we fled. For life alone held deliverance. And stealing that prize, I fed a hail of blades and teeth and flame to a room most strange and otherworldly. The Eldritch Stone split a ragged hole in the air, a gateway to the real world above, and freedom. If you dare face the horror behind. Next up, coming for free for PlayStation Plus members, is Road Not Taken by Spry Fox. It's also being released on Steam on August 5th, 2014, and later this fall on PS Vita. Road Not Taken is a roguelike puzzle game following a ranger traveling through a forest overtaken by a winter storm. You'll be forced to rescue nearby villagers caught in the storm and use the main character's power of levitation to solve puzzles. The main character will also have a house you can visit, hosting collectible trophies, totems, and other items you can showcase and display. Uh, after playing X amount of games with your character, though, uh, they will pass away, and you will take over a new character who succeeds them, similar to an extended version of Rogue Legacy, if you will. During each career, you'll have the opportunity to unlock certain items called boosts that you can use that will alter the game, such as an item that might decrease the spawn rate of a particular tough enemy, uh, or an item that might increase the difficulty of the game and provide greater rewards. As you rescue lost villagers' children... Throughout the successive campaigns, new creatures will spawn in the forest and new items will be unlocked. If 
Finally, you'll have relationships with the townspeople and the forest denizens that you'll have to deal with as well. Coming at you next is Jenny LeClue on Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight. Jenny is a brilliant young detective living in the terribly boring town of Arthurton. The dean of Gumboldt University is found dead with evidence pointing towards Jenny's mother being the culprit. It's up to you and Jenny LeClue to solve the case with a beautiful hand-drawn art style and gameplay drawing back to the age of choose-your-own-adventures. Jenny LeClue looks to be a gorgeous coming-of-age tale. The game is hoping to be an episodic trilogy, however, with a Kickstarter campaign, they're hoping to fund the first episode. This game looks packed with rich narrative, gorgeous artwork, and is planning to come to PC, Mac, Linux, and eventually iOS, with hopeful, eventual console support. Oh, hello. I'm Arthur K. Finkelstein, homemade jam enthusiast, wildlife dental society member, and author of Jenny the Clue. The greatest choose-your-own-adventure novel series in the world! And now I want you to help me write her biggest adventure yet, Jenny the Clue, Detective Rue, an interactive adventure game where you control the story. Hey, you're not supposed to see that yet. Spoiler alert! As I was saying, we'll explore the town of Arthurton, a world rich with characters like Jenny the Clue. When her mother is accused of murder, Jenny takes on the case of her life, and soon she discovers nothing is what it seems. A choose your own adventure game with choosiness on a massive scale. Crack the case! Save your family! Unearth Arthurton's dark secrets! And don't forget the frost. Any story possible on Kickstarter. What's Kickstarter? Last but not least is Aegis Defenders by Guts Department, a 16-bit technical platformer on Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight. Aegis Defenders is set in an ancient world where technology is wielded like magic. We play as the Ruin Hunters, Bart, the Engineer, and his granddaughter Clue, the Hunter, while searching for the one thing that can save them, the Aegis. Aegis Defenders has a beautiful hand-painted pixel art style where you fight through all but abandoned ruins, build weapons and other items to help you through the levels, and it features dynamic character swapping so you can position the two characters carefully and activate certain abilities. The game also features various tower defense scenarios and are planning on local co-op. The game is scheduled to release on Windows, Mac, and on Steam, PlayStation 4 and Wii U are the stretch goals, but they're looking at other opportunities should they get to that point. The other team behind Aegis Defenders is Power Up Audio, the same team that brought you the soundtrack from Tower Fall Ascension, Darkest Dungeon, and Time Spinner. So we can expect some good things in the sound department.
As always, I'm a bit hero. Take care.